Thanks for tuning in to Mountain High Hockey. Today, we're gonna work on a couple elusive transition moves by a defenseman that helps when a four checker is bearing down on you in the neutral zone and you want to escape and make a great first pass. Now, a lot of times, there's two different types of four checks in the neutral zone. The first one is gonna be where the F1 tries to cut the defenseman in half and makes it so you can't use your partner on a D to D and pushes you up the strong side of the ice. So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna get it on our strong side or on our offhand. We're gonna fake it to our partner because the four checker has cut off the middle of the ice so we can't use our partner. So we're gonna pivot, going up the strong side of the ice, three hard strides. Now, here's what we're gonna try to accomplish. Remember, when you're a defenseman, or you're the last guy back, and you're gonna start the neutral zone transition, you wanna always make yourself available. That's having your hands out in front of your body, your knees over your toes, your chest up, so that keeps your head up, where you're able to scan the ice and see where everyone's open. Okay, now we're still gonna wanna use our C cuts going backwards because this is gonna allow us to get a little bit of space, but it's also gonna allow our forwards to tighten the gaps to us, which makes for an easier pass underneath the opposing's forecheck. The thing is, is we have to sell the first forechecker. If he takes away the middle, we still wanna get ourselves a little bit of time. So we're gonna look like we're gonna go D to D, we're gonna sell it with our eyes, and then we're gonna get going up the strong side of the ice, you know, so. Okay. Puck, 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 puck. Just remember, it's all about weight transfer. So we wanna be on the balls of our toes, even though we're skating backwards. We're still in a nice ready position, knees are over our toes, energy's in the balls of our feet, and then we're able to explode going forwards. The last, neutral zone transition escape that we're gonna show is when the four checker is coming down the wall and we have to escape to the middle of the ice and get away from that pressure and make a good hard pass. Now, we're again, we're gonna be on the balls of our feet, skating backwards and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it look like we're going up that strong side with a little fake. So we're gonna fake like we're going up that strong side. All of a sudden, we're gonna put that puck on our backhand. We're gonna mohawk the outside, and all of a sudden get our feet going up the middle of the ice. So when trying to escape by doing a spin, it's all about using our outside leg or whatever leg we're turning to, to be able to open up that hip, put all of that weight transfer on the leg that's opening up because that's the leg that we are gonna step on and then really driving through the outside of our edge. We're gonna open up, push, tight turn, feet moving. Now, pro tip, to be able to get around even faster is follow your head. If your head gets around, your body will follow. Even though we're working on escapes right now to move the puck in a smooth and fast transition, that's the importance of our edges. So you can go back and watch our two videos on edges, make sure you get them dialed in and it will help you be able to transition with the puck into a game scenario. And this is why we do those edges, because you can't walk before you can crawl, and you can't run before you can walk. Thanks for tuning in to Mountain High Hockey. Remember, if you liked the video, press that like button, share it with your buddies, have them subscribe, and remember, it's all about the details. Like I'm gonna go to the partner and then open up, get my feet going. Cause a lot of times, obviously every forward's told to cut the middle in half. 
So the middle is going to be taken away a lot of times where you can't go D to D, and that's where we're going to take ice and beat that first torch, get the first.